we've got the old bridge. And he goes over to the compressor. Okay. And I think this is the earlier portal here. Ah oh, yes, wow. Yeah. Now if you wander up to him and look in, you'll see a 44 gallon drum and a couple of bags of urea at the doorway. <laughs> I will. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. He goes straight in for about 50 metres. Right. So, uh, this got a name? Um, oh, I'll call this the Eastern Hill, or the third. Okay, right. right. Across I, left. I could stand corrected. <laughs> but like all the mines around here, yeah. I believe it was meant to be blown shut. Okay. Wow. So, okay. Wow. But he only goes in for about 50 metres. Yes, okay. Go on the other case. I'll right. follow you. Yeah, right. You see the ribs hanging down? Oh yes. Amazing. Gee. Here we go. A magic bees. Ah. Oh god. So what are we looking at? That's a cave spider in there. Ah. Really? And the egg sack. Oh goodness. I only tend to hang around the doorways from experience. Oh, that's as far as the bugs coming. <laughs> yes, okay. Someone's eating here. Hmm. So that's the... Uh, he goes up to another level, I have to get up there for a look. Okay. Oh, gee. Someone's eating uh, here. Yeah. That's that a... wasn't like that. Huh. Um, he goes in about 25 metres and then stops. What? I reckon there's been some kids playing in here. Have they been following a, a, a course of mineral or...? I believe so. Um, yeah, there's so been they... tungsten up here. Okay. And from what I've sort of learned, if they go straight, they're just they're, they're digging to a point to meet up with a straight, but if they wave about all over the place, they're actually following a vein. Yep. Wow. Hmm. But, um, I think it's not going to be too bad. It's a hard rock mine. It's right there. It's been pegged out from various. Reasons and whether he was actually just to up the roof there to stop any loose stuff. Yeah. This stuff's quite loose. Okay. Then we get somewhere where the water's coming through from there. Pop and bring it down there. Yeah, just, okay. Hmm. Well, I know. There's some bits of dynamite and that floating about that someone's coming and nabbing. Uh, so this is a... Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Drilled in, yeah. all drilling. Yeah. Looking for the samples and... So... As far as what they're looking for, I think it sort of ran out. Right. There's a bit of a vein in there, but that was it. I can't imagine this black stuff being... Just imagine the effort required to continue through there. I can show you some stuff done by hand on the ground that'll blow your mind. The amount of rocks moved. <laughs> well, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you for showing me that. No, well, this that's is brilliant. And uh, you reckon, was there ever a tramway in here? Yes. Oh. And you can see the boards back here further. Oh, I did see, oh, okay. Um, they got around in here. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, oh, of course, yeah. You often see bits of rail lying around. Well, I hadn't noticed that yet. <laughs> rail goes to use on other sections. Yeah. Uh, 
got some exploring to do. <laughs> uh, this one's tiny. Uh, yeah, there's another. How'd you look at that? Okay. You get the, there's not much holding that up. Oh no. <laughs> Just move that again. <laughs> no, I can't. But see, uh, there's a quartz vein there that they were chipping away at. Oh yeah. Yep. And then, yeah, we have this board, so we are digging for it. Ah, I don't really know what that was, but it's got a rather interesting angle on it. Oh, I've always been on with some machinery for it. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh yes. The local, local town opened it up and cleaned out the entrance way to the Riverside High School. Oh yeah. Because um, they used to run school camps up here. Mm -hmm. And maybe it was just deemed too dangerous on the wall or okay. for whatever reason they ran iron tearing here. And okay. Thank you, mate, for showing me under there. <laughs> it's wonderful. There's plenty of the history floating about the place. Yes. And yeah, get it out and seen before it all disappears. Oh, whatever you say. There's a compressor. And I think it was either 1920s when they got the power put on and didn't need the gasifiers or in the 1920s they were powered by a wood-fired gasifier um, which produced electricity and fed the old mine up the other side and this one ran this. The gasifier is just hidden up over the back there. Yep. And it's here yeah, where they burnt wood for fuel. Really? And not in a steam way. And yeah, here's sort of position here. You see this mine. Up over here, you'll see dig out. And then we'll get down to the newer stuff and the older stuff. We'll follow the tramway around. Come out on wow. top, and that'll probably be your time. Yeah, good. So that's, that's amazing. So you'd have to get someone like Ian to give you the specs on him or get him out of that yeah. book. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, see with the machine. Now that's an air compressor. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I think well, you've taken me to an amazing place. Ah, what can you tell me? What can you tell me? Let's just see here. It's, uh, it's getting buried, but it, it's what powered the air for the fire mine site in the beginnings. Um, and I'll say that the, the second generation of workings, the first generation of workings is all pick and shovel work. And that's over on that hill. Yeah. And they, they found the vein stretch over this side and then you have it, Stories Creek. Yeah. 
No liability tin. Yeah. And this was a provided power. Like compressed, compressed air. Compressed air. Yes, the um, power plant was, and there is another gasifier mm. stuck around, which I'm hoping to get to see that on our way up, mm. given the time. Yes. Well, this is something to be looked after. It's a sign of the times. And it's our history. Um, yeah, it's a sign of how hard they work here. <laughs> This is no easy feat. No. No. Oh, imagine the weight of that. Getting it here. So am I right in thinking they roast wood and collect the gas from roasting wood? I always get them mixed up here. CO2 and what's the other one? It's um, the byproduct for burning. I think it's Sure. Huh. Uh, but basically there's a one of the gases produced through burning wood is actually flammable. And huh. back in the early 1920s when the fuel shortage was on, they had these things attached to cars, trucks, lorries, yes. buses, as an aid to burn wood and use a byproduct to power the petrol engine. And they were endlessly hard to balance or get the mixture right. This I think is 175 horsepower <laughs> unit. Well, that's great. Yeah, that was long before the power was actually put into Storage Creek. Actually, that's just all the things that are in. You might want to be a one that. No, we won't walk around here too much. As um, you say to my son, yeah. you've got to watch out for tin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we we'll come to the other stuff. Looking for it. Yeah, in fact, we look very dug out up the top there. Oh, yes. I don't know how stable that is, I've never been up there. Mm -hmm. The latter years, the stuff that they shifted by hand over on the Eastern Hill yeah. is incredible. And you know it was incredible because there's a hardly any metal rubbish here at, at all. And so it was pretty big machinery. Well, that hillside's been worked over. Yeah. And under. Or a crusher. There's no boom there. Pump house. Okay. Um, I have read the report and I, I yeah. forget exactly what each location is, but um, the more times I bring people through, the more I'm going to get to know it. Yeah, there are pets here somewhere. That's an old truck. This is an old truck upside down, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I never. Okay. Yeah, there's one axle. And he's being riveted, I think. Yeah, well. Oh. And that, that t tells me about it. Oh, sorry. There is a couple of those trucks up on top of the no. hill. It tells me like a, a tipping yep. arrangement. Yep, over the side. Yeah. You'll see one of them. Oh, oh really? You might even see the cage that they went down the mine. The old tramway then. Yep. And they did some effort to dig it in. Yeah. And with the tackle down, they did a lot of work here, rehabilitating. <laughs> they dragged all the tailings out of the creek that you see further around. <laughs> and they dragged them up that road on top of the hill there. And covered the first, the yep. original mine. And another step. They put a big dam in here to catch the water seeping into the river. Because from here down, just, you can't drink. Oh. Hey. 
See the stag down there? Oh yeah. So there's not much of a left. Hmm. Yeah, there's. Yeah, right there. But he's not the older of them. Okay. You see what I believe is the remains of a, a war tank and a gyroscopic crusher. And I'm guessing gyroscopic because it does funnel down a big cone. And I have found pieces of, of what looked to be the heads. And he would have been at the end of the tramway which comes out there. And this tramway comes around, comes out to an oil pass up out of the mine. Oil pass? No, that's down, the one that goes up. And, um, he also follows around to another entrance. Nice. And then over here, and it's a bit hard to see the devastation in the creek because they just, the old mill was halfway down this hill and it just ejected the tailings <sighs> into the creek with no regard. And, um, yeah, it caused quite a bit of grief. <laughs> the original and the first workings are in this hill over here. Yeah. You can see the makings of a road that goes down. And further round is where I've got those pictures where you can see on Google Earth the noted red stain that's coming out. There are a lot down there. There was eight or nine in one area on Tinstone Creek. The old... Um, well, I think his bottom half is down in the creek. Really? Well... Yeah. Move it in together. I think that was something you used to drag. You see what they were chasing? Oh, God. I might be getting off with one of them going there, and I'll go in. Quite a ways. Oh, yes. Nice. Yep. So he obviously threw that pulled up the order. Yep. Yeah. I'll just turn around now for that. Report to the various bits of machinery laying there. Now, this is a massive building and was basically re-taken down and a new mill went up here. Wow. <laughs> but as I say, this is um all this creek here was dug out, I can't remember the date. All the tailings yeah. were picked up and taken up, piled up. Okay. Now you can't see too many workings in that here. <laughs> You can see it all at it down there. Yep. A couple of little black holes. The track that used to come down. Is a... And some of the first edits into the bottom of the hill and then the pre 1900 workings during that gully. And there's a gas generator down there. The gas of fire? Yeah. Give it a coat of paint to stop it rustling into the ground. Oh my goodness. Amazing. 